Howdy. Homeless man that got all of computer back at it again with another dog shit guide. And today I'm going to be doing a no bullshit guide on how to dual boot into Linux Mint 20 from your Windows 10 machine. The only thing you're going to need is a flash drive. You can get a 16 gigabyte flash drive for as cheap as five fucking dollars. And even if you don't, I'm sure you can raid a dumpster somewhere and get one that's at least two gigabytes. And that's the absolute minimum you're going to need. So let's go ahead and get into it. First off, we're going to go ahead and go to linuxmint.com. Every link I talk about is going to be in the description. Click the download tab at the top. About in the middle of the page, you're going to see Cinnamon. Go ahead and click that. This should be good for you to dual boot into unless your computer is 20 fucking years old. Go ahead and find the nation you're from or the one closest to you. Download from the top link. If that does not work, go ahead and just start going down the list. This works just fine, so I'm saving it. While that's downloading, we're going to go ahead and download Universal USB Installer. You can Google it or just go to pendrivelinux.com. This is also going to be linked in the description. Scroll down a little bit and hit download UUI. You save file. Now this website's kind of a piece of shit and if you don't have adblock there will be ads saying download around it. I'd recommend just having adblock on. So now you want to go ahead and make sure your flash drive is plugged in. Open up the universal USB installer you just downloaded. Hit I agree. Hit Linux Mint. Go ahead and select the ISO. It should be in your download folder. Click the flash drive, it should be the only thing here. Hit FAT32 format drive. Create. Yes. Let this go ahead and download and do all it needs to do. Alrighty, that took me about a minute and a half. It should take you about that much time, if not probably a little longer. So a couple minutes at least. Alright, go ahead and hit close. And you want to search partition. You'll get to create and format hard disk partitions. This is probably the most important decision you're going to have to make that I cannot exactly tell you what to do now i would recommend for fucking around a volume no lower than 100 gigabytes and i'm going to dedicate an entire drive a entire one terabyte drive because i'm i'm in linux 100 percent of the time right now i've almost entirely ditched windows if you plan on doing everything other than gaming though honestly 100 gigabytes is probably going to be good enough so what you want to do is you want to decide that size if you just want to test once again 100 gigabytes is fine but it can be as small as 20 gigabytes if you're curious about what it should look like normally, you're probably you're gonna want to use something that'll probably be labeled like this. It's your healthy primary partition. You want to right-click that, hit shrink volume. So we're gonna shrink that. Now what you see here is I have 928 gigabytes unallocated. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and remember however much you end up having. So this unallocated space is what we're gonna use to install our Linux Mint onto. Now what we're gonna do is gonna restart the computer. Please excuse the quality, but I am going to be recording the rest of this on my phone, as I am unsure of what wizardry I have to do to record it elsewise. Alrighty, so now I'm on my phone. You know how to go ahead and restart your computer. Now while you see a big old logo, you're going to probably want to hit about F2. And you're going to see a boot menu. This can look quite a few different times, but what matters is you want to select your flash drive. Mine's SanDisk Partition 1. I'm going to go to Boot Menu, which is F8 for me. And I'm going to select it. Now you can see it boot into this. So from this menu, I'm gonna to wanna to select 64-bit Linux Mint 20, just normal, enter. Alrighty, now that you're here, you wanna hit install Linux Mint on the top left with the disk symbol. Yes, you are speaking English, hopefully. You've gotten this far in the fucking guide. Continue again. So we are gonna click install multimedia codecs. Okay, so now make sure you do not select install Linux Mint alongside Windows Boot Manager. We're gonna click something else. We're still gonna dual boot. Your Windows is gonna be fine. Alrighty, so now that we're here, this is where we're gonna set up our Linux drive. So we're gonna go ahead and wanna find that free space. For here, it's that about one terabyte of free space. You're gonna hit plus. We're gonna start by creating your root. Your root can be anywhere between 20 gigabytes to 50 gigabytes if you have a large file size. I'd recommend 20 gigabytes if you did my recommended 100 gigabytes. However, I wanna make mine 50 gigabytes and that's really like the absolute max you're going to need to go. So that's 50,000 megabytes. Alrighty, so we're gonna click that free space again and we're gonna create a swap. If you have very little size, this actually doesn't matter that much, but this helps it run a little faster. Now, what you want to do, there is kind of a formula to follow. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, you want to do 4 gigabytes. If you have 16 gigabytes, you want to do 8. 32 gigabytes, you want to do 16. 
but if you have four gigabytes or two gigabytes of RAM, you want to have it be equal. If you have less than that, God rest your fucking soul, but go ahead and two times your RAM size. For me, because I'm running 16 gigabytes of RAM, I'm going to use an 8,000 megabyte style swap area. And now we're going to hit that free space one more time. You hit plus and we're going to add it to home. Home is essentially where your default installation is going to go. It's where like your games and stuff will go. Almost all of your installs will go. Root is a lot of your OS. and f So we're just going to have the rest of this be home. Now we're going to go ahead and click install now. Just verify, this is just saying, yes, I would like to use that space for that. Go ahead and enter your location. Alrighty, so now you wanna name your name. I'm gonna just gonna use Jester. Now your computer's name, I'm just gonna once again have that be Jester. Pick a username, Jester, and then I'm gonna have a password. Now you can set up your computer to log in automatically, although I do not recommend that, but I'm not your fucking dad. Also, there's an encrypt my home folder. So if you absolutely don't want anyone accessing what you're using this for, which I respect that, then go ahead and select this. But if you do, just know that if you lose your password, it is going to be gone forever. I'm not going to select that myself. So this is just the finishing the install. Alrighty, so your Linux Mint installation is finished. Congratulations. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and restart it. Alrighty, so every time you restart your computer, you're gonna notice something a little like this. It'll say Linux Mint at the top, and then it'll have Windows 2 down. However, you should only be selecting Windows if you're a bitch, okay? So that's about it though, gamers. Go ahead and launching into Linux Mint right now. Alrighty, so that's it. I really hope the phone quality wasn't too bad. I really, really wanted to make this video. I've recently absolutely fallen in love with Linux. I really hope you have a great time. I think we are on the precipice of Linux just being objectively better than Windows for literally everything. Even gaming on Linux right now is amazing. I myself personally have entirely ditched Windows. Uh, I think it sucks cock and balls. But regardless, have a good one and have a great time fucking around with Linux.